a pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Seattle Mariners. The MLB here on 2K Sports. Baseball, American League style. Time to defend the home turf for Seattle. Hi, everybody. John Crux, Steve Phillips with yours truly, Gary Thorne. Monday night broadcast of Major League Baseball. And tonight, a look around the stadium, 47,000 strong. And Yusmiro Petit will be the starting pitcher. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, tough matchup for this right-hander on the mound against his lineup. So he's going to have to really overachieve a bit today and really execute his pitches and elevate the level of his performance to be successful. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, all you ask from your players is to give them some consistency, and Johnny Damon throughout his career has done that. He's a guy that can hit for average. He can hit the ball of the ballpark if you make a mistake. The thing about it is, he's a winning player. See, and it's Johnny Damon now. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. What a streak these guys are on. That's 10 in a row now. They are the team to beat. Well, these guys are in one of those stretches when everything seems to be going right for them. They'll be looking for consecutive victory, number 11 in this one. Ball hit very well, soaring into deep center field. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1-0 lead. Oh, it just barely got this thing started, and they're already up one. Boy, if you're the leadoff guy, that's really something for the rest of the team to look at. You've got to believe maybe this is an offensive day. Now, the power now hitters in the lineup coming up next are going to be saying, I'm trying to get there quick. Alexi, well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. There's contact. He drove it well. Ichiro will field. No problem for him as he gets that out. Get a chance to check out the Mariners on the defense. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Casey Kochman has some of the softest hands in the major leagues out there. He can pick the ball in the dirt, and he has great instincts to read plays as well. And Paul Canerco to bat. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one, swung the bat well. Base is empty with one away. That's it foul by Canerco. The pitch towards the middle. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And uh, runner on, Carlos Quinton will hit. Pitch on the way. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. You're Swung out. on. Missed. Oh, Curve ball struck him out two down. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. And Beckham's in the box. Smash towards the middle. And he'll step on the back. That'll do it. Well, some early production here. One run across in the first. The White Sox on top. One to nothing. First inning. Going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. Steve, as he gets going against these uh, Seattle bats, what's his concern? I think, Gary, we're going to have to look for this lefty to back some of these hitters off the plate to make them uncomfortable because if they're comfortable, they've got a chance to do some real damage against them.
first pitch on the way to each row. Fastball just misses. One and oh. Hoping to try to continue some momentum off of his last game when he picked up three base hits. See if he can't keep it going. 1 0 on the way. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. Beckham able to pull that one in. One away. Now presented by Pepsi. Here's a look at the Mariners starting lineup. Scouting Big John, who are we looking at today? Well, when you look at Casey Koshman, the size of the man, six foot three, 215 pounds. But don't let that size fool you. He is not a power hitter. He's not a guy that steps up and tries to hit the ball out of the ballpark. He's a contact guy. He tries to put it in play. Most of the time with that inside out swing, he's going to hit it to left field. So if you're a pitcher and you're defending against him, you better have some guys out there on that left side of the field to make plays for you. Swung and a ground ball to third. So Figgins is retired. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Bradley settles in. Well, the Mariners winning yesterday's contest. That win coming after the blaze through the first three in the series. So a four-game sweep for them against the Angels in Los Angeles. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Took an extra frame to get it done, but they did pick up the W in 10. Yeah, and that's just, just enough to get that victory in what a hard-fought ball game. Oh! That's it foul by Bradley. Missed with a curve, 2-1. and one. He's averaged 297 lifetime off the White Sox. The 2-1 pitch. He watches the fastball go by. Now it's two and two. Had a big shot last time out. Swinging the bat very well. Took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. He had good patience up the middle. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Now with two down, and he's got a man on board. Coming up with the trade deadline now. Here's what the Central Division looks like, courtesy of the State Farm Standings Board. It's the White Sox in first. In the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians, and rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. Oh. Murphy Jr., not fooled by that one, count is even up. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Rios. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The White Sox still ahead. Safe go field. Whoa, what a night to be here. It is beautiful for baseball. Roof open. Alex Rios. And Alex Rios to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the Thompson runs scored, top five. And here's the pitch. Oh, and one. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 oh, and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Off the wall on a hop. He's going to try to stretch it. He stops at second. That will be a double. He's in scoring position now with nobody out. But you can't ask for a better way to start the inning. A leadoff double. Now big things can happen. It's going to be Przinski. Oh, Fastball swung out of miss. Going one. Now looking for a bounce back performance today. Some disappointment after last game striking out twice. Off the ground played by Kochman. And out number one as he steps on the base. Take a moment to take a look at the teams with the most extra base hits brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one, the Red Sox second, Blue Jays third, the Yankees fourth, and we've got the Twins who are number five. Well, a lot of people think that power is just hitting home runs, but this team dispels that. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. This one to Griffey Jr. Two down, and that will not get the runner home from third base. 
A good first step movement by the right fielder. Good angle to run this one down and make a nice running catch. There's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. Right there in the top five in home runs. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0 and 1. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody they've really come to rely upon. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark in that last ball game for him. And I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power is coming. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. They pick up no runs on a hit, stranding man at third base. White Sox one, Seattle nothing. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne, with Steve Phillips, and John Crump. And it's Jose Lopez at the plate. Swing soft liner towards right center. And that will put Lopez on first. That will bring up Casey Kochman. A chance now to take a look at the Mariners and how they rank in the American League right now. Third in ERA, fourth in triples. And they also have patience at the plate, showing up in the top five in base on balls. Patience, a big asset for this team. Understanding it doesn't matter how you get on, you just need to get on base. Oh, he's trying to steal second. Oh, two. And he is safe at second. On the way. Line shot into center field. And it's through. Credit Kochman a single. And here's Lopez heading home. And he's in there. Seattle to keep that momentum going and stay with it. J.J. Well, he saw a pitch that he really liked, and he did not miss it. A really nice job with nobody out keeping this inning going. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Over to second for one. And a double play. They got a vote. And Gary got a chance to look at this double play on the replay. And this is an outstanding effort to make the catch, get to the bag, and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. Two outs, bases empty. The pitch just missed with the fastball one and up. Shot towards the hole and Kaderko getting to it and they will tag him out and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one on. High game here in Seattle. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. He homered earlier in the ball game. Johnny Damon. The first pitch. Put something off and it swung on and missed. Going one. Here's the delivery. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one now. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Now Riggins spots the pitch. There's a smash towards the hole. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Paul Canerco. A good piece of hitting right there with one out. Now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first. And Paul Canerco to bat. Well, leading the league in home runs. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. 
Now swing and a shot towards second. There's one. And two. They pull off the double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. And we are still tied up in Seattle. It's Riggins at the plate. Number 13, John Riggins. First pitch of fastball, that's in there for a strike. Well, you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung about well in that one, picking up a couple of knots. And he swings and hits this one foul. Oh. You know, it's not just the players that make the great plays. How about the catch by the fan right there? This is a Rex Barney. Give him a contract play. Well, that's why you bring your glove to the ballpark. Oh. And he fouls another one off. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Let's take a chance now and take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners, this lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Fastball in there, 0-1. Lifetime, he's hit 326 against the White Sox. A swing and a foul oh. off to the right side. Here's the pitch. Lined up the middle, fielded by Ramirez. And that'll sit down each of them. Number eight. And here's Sean Figure. And he steals off and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Fresh count, Figgins. Here it comes. On the ground to first. Played by Canerco. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. And it'll be the white side. Leading it off, for Carlos Quinton. Leading the MLB in batting average. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. That's swung on and a liner here. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. He's going to try and test him here. Well, breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And here's the first one. Swings lines this one back up the middle. That should be a base hit. And that's going to play Alex Rios. Well, two hits the last game, and you can see he was getting a little confidence as that game went on, and he's carrying it into this one with another good start. And right now, top five in runs batted in on the lead. Couldn't get around in time, 0-1. Oh, well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Swung on, line to right field. That's one away, and that will hold the runners at the corners. Now look at the staffs with the fewest walks allowed for the month. Found on our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Angels. The A's second. The Blue Jays third. Indians fourth. And the Mariners fifth. Hey, take a look at these teams. These are the teams that believe that their defense can make plays behind them. They're not worried about getting the strike out and trying to do it by themselves. They trust their teammates. Swings a little early that time. 0-1. Here's the pitch. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0-2. And out. A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Well, you get a runner in scoring position uh, early in the ball game. That's a chance they don't take advantage of. Yeah, and that's one of those at bats right there that could come back later in the game to hurt you. Got him out quickly, though. Two men on, two men out. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there. On one. 
Lifetime 218 average against the Mariners. For some reason he tried to hit that pitch in the dirt. It's a strike. On the way. Curve ball that tied him up and not swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. High game here in Seattle. And you're looking at Don Wakamatsu. And he knows it starts with great pitcher. Happy with the last inning on the mound. Now looking for the offense. Here it comes. Swung and a fly ball. A foul ball. Milton Bradley not fooled by that one. That'll even up the count. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Line foul towards third. Milton Bradley not fooled by that one. That'll even up the count. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. The throw. And he is safe at second. Get to take a look at one here. They probably should have been the first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box, rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safer. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Here's the pitch to Griffey Jr. Third ball misses badly, one and all. Batting 274, lifetime against the White Sox. This one's grounded near third, foul. Hot shot towards the hole. Gets in there in time. He is safe at third. Seattle, here's their shot right now. But when you're setting your defense, you don't set your defense for guys not to hit the ball well. This ball wasn't hit hard, but he gets down the line so quickly he's able to beat it out for that base hit. The pitch. And Jose Lopez looks at that one go by for a ball, even to count. The 1 1 now. Line drive left of the bag wow. and foul. He's running. Catches Jose Lopez watching that one, and it's going to be strike three. Well, he gets the first out of the inning right there. Now let's see if he can continue to bear it out, work his way out of this jam, and keep the score tied. Here's the pitch to Kochman. Oh. Fastball runs inside, 1 0. Oh. For his career, 205 off the white side. Oh. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind, 2 0. Oh. Well, you tried to get him to chase on those first three pitches. He laid off of them. Now, you might Great want to one. think about putting him on base to set up a double play. Come set. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And he gets through. Kochman knocking in the run. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now because they are on. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in the swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. Two men on, one out. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. On the ground to second. That's one. And there's two. A double play. They pick up a run on three base hits and find a way to leave the bases empty. The Mariners out in front now. Bottom part of the order will get their chance offensively. Tommy to lead it off. 0 for 1 thus far. Hitter, number 27, Jim Tomey. 
Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. The number is over his career 256 against the Mariners. Line fair down the line and right. That one a one hopper off the wall. He's going to try to stretch it. Takes that ball to right. He'll get the double, but he'll remember that throw in. Well, you have to credit the hitter. He turned it up in gear, going around first base, and slides in safely at second. I think he took a look out there, and that ball was going to be tossed in sooner than he thought. It's Damon at the plate. Well, he was the talk of the last game. Four base hits in that one, and a lot of confidence building around him right now. And here's the pitch. Right the fish for that one. Nothing in one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. He's able to set him down there, chuck that one up as a strikeout for him. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. One of the best batting averages in the league. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. And he's out in front on that pitch, so he's in the hole now, 0-2. Has to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off, and uh, one, two count. But if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as okay. Well, and the sad thing is the runner on second base had nowhere to go as he rings up the batter on four pitches. And obviously, John Pitcher decided, I'm going to worry about the hitter here and get him out of there. Yeah, and we'll see if he can strand the runner again with some more great pitching. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. Had a big rip at that one and falls behind 0-1. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. The hitter's got to be in defense mode right here, just looking to make contact. Got to shorten up the swing. And Lopez picks it up. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So you Smero Petit holding it down. He's got seven Ks in this game. And it's Jack Wilson who leads up. In his career, 269 off the White Sox. Hi. And out on the mound, we've got Scott Linebreak as they make the pitching swap. I'm sure they didn't set out thinking, hey, let's pitch all our bullpen guys this early in the game. What do you think, Gary? I don't know. They need this guy to hold down the fort and see if he can't give him some innings. The pitch. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. And in there, base hit. Be sure to tune in this Thursday. Going to be Chase Utley and the Philadelphia Phillies. They take on the Cardinals in St. Louis. Start time is 8 Eastern. Well, Gary, fans are going to want to tune into that one because I think that's got a chance to be a heck of a ball game. Now the first pitch. And he tries to get one down. Played by Canerco. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. It's a great situation for some offense. Sometimes you just have to force the defense to make a play. You get the bunt down and see what... There's a bullet towards third. And that's going to be a base hit for each of us. And Wilson is in. Seattle keep that momentum going and stay with it. Number eight, Sean Higgins. Uh, now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. He has to drive it a run here for Sean Higgins. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Here we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And another. Wow, that hitting coach is smiling. And he will score from second base. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Well, with the lead right here, don't be surprised if we see the runner on first goal. And I think that he has enough speed to make it. And even if they throw it away, you got a chance to pick up a run. 
We'll see Canerco holding him in there. Runners at the corners with no one out. Line break with the delivery. Popped into foul territory down the left side. And a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Here's the pitch. And with two strikes on him, Milton Bradley's got to be careful here. Uh, clearly the hitter was looking for something else because if he had been looking for the change up with that location that would have been a souvenir that one misses it gets away from the catcher now he's going to run for second and they get that run in the one two on its way Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. This is the effective use of the fastball. You can move it around the zone and hit your spot. They go down and in right there. Looks like the hitter was thinking away. The RBI off for Ken Griffey Jr. He's got one hit, five lifetime at bats off Scott Lindgren. On Figgins, going to steal. The throw. And he is safe. Just beating that throw. Couldn't make a better two-strike pitch right there. He's working well with the catcher, hitting his spots, powering that fastball down and away. Oh. Griffey Jr. not fooled by that one. Count is even up. Flat fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Strike two. Now Przinski positions himself, oh. and it remains one and two. Line brink winds up for the one-two pitch, oh. and another foul ball. Well, anytime you're behind in a count, and in this case the one-two count, you have to swung on. That is hit, and that will not Can get that runner in from third. Well, you got to like what's going on there. Let's take a look Number at that four. one again. Well, outstanding play, everybody well moving in unison. And the runner standing at third. Here's Jose Lopez. He's three for five lifetime off line break. He deals. Fastball misses away. One and all. Lopez swings, misses, count is even. Swung on, line softly behind second base. That's down. The run's coming in. This lineup just feeding off itself in this ball game. Opportunities and execution. And a great at bat right there to drive in his second run of the day. Here's the pitch to Kochman. Splitter just misses. One and all. Pauses and now the 1 0. Inside on a split finger. 2 and 0. Buries that one in there at the knees. Two and one. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Swing and a miss. Kochman, no contact, evens it up. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here. And he's struggling right now. Well, he was able to ring up that K and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. Big offensive inning. Five base hits and four runs. Mariners, they like this five run lead. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And here's the first one. Off the ground, played by Kochman. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos quick season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. 
Here's the pitch. Hard grounded a short. He grabs it. And there's one. And they turn the double play. And that one's going to be a candidate for play of the week, Steve. Well, you talk about shifting momentum. You get the ground ball double play, and all of a sudden you're back in the dugout ready to hit. And Alex Rios up. And one of the top ten averages right now. And he starts Rios up. Liner towards the hole. And what a catch. A spectacular out. No strikeouts, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. The Mariners still on top. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. It's going to be Clement now. He'll lead it off. Home half. We're in the six. J.J. Clement. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. Runs over, puts it away. State Farm brings you a look at the group of arms with the best ERA for the month. The Angels number one, the A's second, the Blue Jays third, the Indians fourth, and the Mariners fifth. You take a look at these pitching staffs and how successful they've been limiting the opposition in runs scored. and That can go a long way to helping a team win. Headed for the middle. That's a huge out right there. You think maybe you're not going to get to it. He's able to make a tremendous play out here. It's Riggins at the plate. Four for 18 lifetime against the White Sox. Foul Fouled away. Oh, one offering from Lambrink. Here's a slider that misses. One and one. Now Gary is the breaking ball down and away and it just runs off the plate for a ball this time. Ball! Swings ball! and grounds this one to the right side foul. Swing soft liner towards left center. And it gets down. That's hit number two, oh, making good is. contact. That's going to bring each row up. Well, with that big two out hit right there in this inning, you know the managers in there telling him, let's not let him breathe. Let's not let him get that third out. Let's score before this inning's over. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. Seattle six, the White Sox one. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. And uh, tough decisions, maybe, or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. You'll try to give it to him. First pitch on the way. A liner headed for the hole. And so Przinski retired. All star break behind us now. Let's see how the race is in the West. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. Second place, the Angels. A's third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. Well, you could not have asked much more from the Seattle Mariners sitting on top of the American League West right now. And they've really opened some eyes with, it, with the way they perform. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that is not in time. He's aboard at first. Now, and he's a one. It's a costly it's error to allow him to reach base. But the pitcher did everything he could right here. He got the ground ball like he wanted. But you see this runner, man, once he left the box, he is flying and he beats this one out. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Can't wait long enough for that one. And he starts out with a strike. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing right strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. The pitch You're struck him out. That's number eight in the game. To get a better look, K Cam's going to show us the curve. Well, this one's headed towards the outside corner of the plate. The pitcher just fooled him. He needs to be a bit more disciplined. Up there. And not uh, not much in the timing department there, John. He's going back to the dugout. First pitch on the way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right Strike here, Gary. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. 
The hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Seattle maintaining the lead. And it's Sean Figgins leading off. Number eight, Sean Fresh count, Figgins. Here it comes. Called strike from line brink. Count now goes to 0 1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out one away. Well, K Camp's going to show us the four seam fastball here. A fantastic strikeout pitch here. It's headed down and in, and the batter just didn't time this thing right. He never had a chance in this one. Absolutely right, John. And as in real estate, it's all about low ball. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep oh, it two. down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location, and believe me, very difficult to hit. The 2-0 pitch, a fastball, but he missed. Strike one. The 2 1. A line drive towards short. And that'll set down Bradley. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. The series with Seattle concluding on Wednesday. There's another stop on the road trip. The Athletics hosting that one. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then they look to host a team they've had some recent success against the Seattle Mariners. And Ken Griffey Jr. Base is empty with two outs. Line break with the delivery. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. Well, how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any wow. runs? I mean, they've been blowing out in this one so far. Put a, put a zero, <clears throat> put a zero up there, and let's see if the offense can get it done. Smash towards the middle, and he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. And that brings up Jose Lopez. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Jose Lopez. Two outs and a man on first. Now Krasinski sets up. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 oh and 1. He's got line break runs that count 0 and 2. The pitcher's way ahead. He's got some room here now. To... There's a swing and a liner towards first. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Seattle, here's their shot right now. He's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. Line break with the delivery. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, anytime one of your middle relievers throws over 45 pitches, you've got to wonder how much more he has left. Might want to get someone else up out there. A 1-0 -oh pitch. 1-0 -oh delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. Well, uh, I mean, listen, they, they don't have great chances as it is. On the ground to third. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. And Griffey Jr. comes in. Up to the plate. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pit. It's going to be Clement now. He flew out his last time up. And the first pitch. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. That misses downstairs for a ball, 1 and 1. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Swing and a foul straight back. Line brink winds up for the one two pitch. And that's another foul ball. Well, anytime you're behind in the count, you just want to try to spread out and try to put the ball in play. And that's what he did right there. He didn't put it in play, though, but he kept it foul to keep the at bat alive. Still one and two. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. So they scratch across a run, three hits, and a couple left on. Seattle, some days you got it, they got it, and they're tacking them on. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. 
Trying again here, just one for three thus far. First pitch. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. He delivers. You're Got out. him. Strikeout Go number back. 10 today. Just drops that one in there. Good break on it. 83 miles per hour. And it's Paul Canerco now. He bounced out his last time. And he starts Canerco out. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed 0-1. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Struck him out. That's going to be 11 in the game. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches up, down. See you later. He's already back at the bench. Base is empty and two down. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing and a long high drive hit deep to right center field. Goodbye home run. They chip a run off that still down by five. Now back. This game's gotten away from Chicago but. The Leafs are getting a little bit of production right here, trying to build confidence for the next time around. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch to him. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, this is a situation where you're going to see home runs. You have the other team with a big lead. Pitchers willing to throw fat in the strike zone. We'll see if it matters. Well, and this is the lesson too that that you can't fall behind this far because you know even some good offense doesn't let you overtake the opponent. You've got to make plays early in the game. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. So they cut into that deficit a bit with a home run. Still well behind. It's going to be Wilson now. Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. Jack Wilson. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. John wondering uh, what's his primary focus here wow. against the Seattle lineup. Well if I was still playing Matt Thornton is the type of guy I would not want to face. You're talking about a left handed pitcher who is grounded up the middle. Beckham. Oh, One away. For the Seattle Number 13. It's Riggins at the plate. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and that oh. finds the outside corner for strike one. Uh, you're running out of time in this one. You need to give your offense some chance to try to come back in this game. They've got a lot of room to make up. If they're standing out in the field, it's not going to help. One oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Here's the pitch. Lines this one to the left side out of play. And he fouls another one off. Well, a one and two count that pitch on the outside part of the plate borderline pitch you still don't know if it's going to be a ball or a strike the last thing you want to do is take that pitch for a called strike three slider swung out and missed two down this one's right down the middle he just swung and missed at it Better check his bat for a hole and Ichiro stands in two down ground out victim last time through first pitch on the way to Ichiro swinging the ball hit softly towards the hole and that's going to be a base hit for Ichiro That'll bring up Sean Figgins. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. That'll do it as they put that one away. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Mariners seven. White Sox two. Looking to the lineup. Six, seven, eight hitters on their way to the plate. Here's a look at Don Wakamatsu. Great game. His club has worked really well. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Swung on by Rio. Strike one. You know, I'd actually sit on this guy's curveball. It's an exception. Liner towards the hole. And Kotsman with a catch. 
It is that great curveball. It also makes his fastball and changeup a little bit more effective, uh, but the curve's the one. Well, he has that assortment of pitches, which makes any pitcher effective, especially with that big break and curveball. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And so Krasinski retires. And Mark T in to bat. Still without a hit yet in the game. You'll get another chance here. The first pitch. And that one is a fly ball. This could do it. Well, that home run occurred with no one on, so they'll only chip one off the deficit down by four. Well, the third right. home run in this game off this pitcher, so they're starting to figure something out. He can't be there much longer. Let's see if we see some inside stuff coming up here. And it'll be Brandon League doing the pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, this game's gotten away from Chicago, but at least they're getting a little bit of production right here, trying to build confidence for the next time around. He waited on that first pitch and took it. It's 1 0. Steve love to see that long ball if we're at the plate to get the runs in a hurry. Not enough yet. We'll see. Now, but you know what? If you have the lead, you can't panic. Your offense has gotten you in a position. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Well, this happens a lot. You bring in a reliever, possibly the specialist or just a guy to try to get a nice fresh arm in there. A lot of times these pitching changes result in an extra base hit like we just saw. He had a great A-B right there, though. Here's the delivery. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and it came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. The one-two pitch. Swung on line to right center field. And in there, the White Sox will score. I mean the back. Well, this Chicago team White just Sox. won't go away. They're not going to make it easy. They're going to have to earn this win. Now it's just a three-run game. Two outs and a man on first. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. But now within three runs in this ball game, Gary, and you really have to credit this offense. They've been relentless, continuing to put the pressure on inning after inning. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. A lot of good things in this game for Seattle today. They get the victory. Yeah, we take a look at our performance that earned the Pepsi Clutch Performer Award. Well, you know, Gary, you look at the ball strike ratio today, and it's just outstanding what this young man did. And managers love it when their pitchers are throwing strikes, but also fielders do because you know. And, Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. For John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.